Welcome back to the crazy worlds of Bloxburg. In today's episode, a girl knocked on my door by the name of Angie. She came with a little treat called her pumpkin soup. She brought me over her house to show me exactly how she made her soup. But when I got there, you will not believe what happens next. But first, you guys already know what to do. Make sure to go follow my social medias right here and right here for a chance to win a Robux gift card. Guys, 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 this series is now back. Before I start this video, my birthday was like a week ago on October 3rd. So let me get some happy birthdays in the chat. Who missed me on this channel? I know this was a huge series that you guys really invested your time into by watching every single video and liking every single video. Shout out to everyone that likes all these videos. So we're back on the crazy world of Bloxburg. And I... I'm excited to record this because I just miss how crazy these videos used to be so I'm hoping we catch something crazy today so that's what we're gonna do so um I don't know what's gonna happen this is my little intro it's been like two months since I uploaded one of these so yeah say welcome back and are you guys happy I'm back if you guys are happy I'm back and like this video right now if you guys want this series to continue like this video right now i might drop a video once every saturday so one video a week on saturday that might be it or maybe once every two days like i used to which one would be better but anyways let's start this we are in the original setting do you guys miss this this is my room this is where i start every the crazy world of Bloxburg. i miss this i hope you guys missed it as well let's get into it what okay the the bell just rung the bell had just rung. Someone is knocking on my door and it's a girl with some soup. Okay, I, I, I'm right here. I see you. I, I see you, my girl. But um, I'm going to say hello. This must be my neighbor or something. I'm guessing that's her house right there. Her name's Angelic or Angie. I'm just going to call her Angie, y'all. Hey, you must be my neighbor. She seems actually very nice. I'm gonna say so I said yes, I am and what brings you here? I'm actually pretty curious. She has a bowl of whatever that is some soup I think or some salad. I don't know what that is. I'm pretty sure it's some soup Um, but yeah, let's just talk to her and see what she has to say. She seems pretty normal So I don't know if we can make an episode on her We might have to find someone else because she seems a little too normal and nice and I, she has a nice outfit on her her fit is pretty lit who has a bar but anyways okay i just came to welcome you like a good neighbor should haha ha. anyways i brought you something why thank you i appreciate that what is it so I, i'm asking her what is it like um what could it be it's i'm guessing it's that soup but what is in that soup i don't know if i trust her you know the crazy world of Bloxburg is kind of crazy so i don't know if i could trust anything in that soup so if she's offering me that soup i might not want to take it but should i take it guys comment down below should i take the soup or should i not take the soup let me know down below in the comments i think i, I think i might i don't know though this is pumpkin soup i made myself so are you gonna invite me in okay so she really wants to come in my house i guess I said, oh, cool, and, um, yes, like, come, come on in, um, is she, is she gonna come in, I might lock you out, girl, okay, there you go, she's in, she's in, let me give her a guest, so she could actually place the soup down, very nice house you got here, my name is Angie, by the way, thank you, and nice name, by the way, so let's go, let's head over here, Let's take her to my kitchen. Okay, here's the kitchen. I already got a lot Bruh. of food on the counter. So, you know what? I'm going to say place it over here. I already got too much food everywhere on the counter. Oh, haha. -ha, you love food. Yeah, I kind of do love food. I'm not going to lie. So, I'm telling her to place it right here. So, this might be a better spot to place it because there's no room over there. You made this soup yourself? I'm actually curious. Like, she made this soup all by herself. So, I'm guessing she must be, like, some sort of cook. Or maybe she's just good at cooking. I'm not... 
Well, I guess a cook is good at cooking, so yeah. I don't know. She might have just got this from like the grocery store. I don't know if she got it from the grocery store. Or she cooked it with like ingredients. I don't know what she did. So yeah, let's ask her about that. I'm kind of curious. Like, I don't know if I could trust Angie though. This soup might have poison in it or something. Do you guys think? I, th I feel like she's way too nice. I feel like she's absolutely way too nice. Oh yes, of course. She said, this is a favorite I make every year. People can't get enough of it. Try some. Oh, whoa, whoa. She's telling me to try some. Should I actually? I don't know if I can trust her because you guys know the crazy world of Bloxburg stuff happens. This might be poisonous or something. Um, I'm gonna say, what, she just pulled? Okay, so she got more. Okay, let me get a portion. Should I, should I um eat it, y'all? Okay, I'm gonna sit down. I'm gonna sit down. Oh my god. I, okay, she ate it. Well, okay, she ate it. Mmm, delicious. Okay, so since she ate it, then I should be able to eat it. Unless she got a different batch. She might have snuck a different batch and poisoned this one. You know what? I'm just gonna eat it. Ooh, this is actually pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna say, mmm so good this is actually delicious y'all i'm not gonna lie i actually love this soup i love pumpkin pie and i guess i love pumpkin soup now i guess pumpkin soup is good i, I didn't really think it would be good because that kind of sounds weird but i guess it's delicious <laughs> so um yeah i think i'm gonna have some more i think i'm gonna have some more let me eat some more this is yummy i, I hope this is not poisonous though if it's poison and i die i'm gonna be sad Thank you. What do you enjoy doing around this time of year? Since it's Halloween, I love going trick-or-treating. How about you? So since it's like around Halloween time, it's October, right? And who's hyped for Halloween, actually? Since it's Halloween, I like, I like going trick-or-treating, you know, knocking on people's doors, asking for candy. And yeah, it's pretty fun. So how about you, Angelic? What do you like doing? Let's see what she likes doing. Hopefully it's like the same thing or even cooler. I don't, I don't know. Let's see what she likes doing. Oh, how fun. I just stay home and make delicious food. Not really a fan of the whole trick-or-treating thing. Mm, why did she say, oh, how fun? Dot, dot. Like, she doesn't... So, um... So you don't trick or treat? Why not? That's like the funnest thing about Halloween. I don't know why she wouldn't trick or treat. Like honestly, that is the funniest thing about Halloween. And yeah, but around this time of the year, it's not necessarily Halloween. So um, what else do I do? Besides that, I like scaring people with my costumes as well, cause you know it's pretty, it's pretty fun scaring people. I used to do that even when I was a little kid. I used to put on like some scary outfits and scare people. Some people happen to want peace at their homes. Oh, that seems fun. So she likes scaring, just like scaring people seems fun, but she doesn't like people knocking on her door. I should get going now. Okay, have a good night. So I'm gonna walk her to the door. She said she's leaving. I'm gonna walk her to the door. Um, so she's leaving and yeah, back to her cool Halloween house. She doesn't like people knocking on her door for Halloween, but her, she has Halloween decorations. So I, I'm not sure if that makes sense. Something seems quite suspicious. And why is she staring at me? I thought she said she was gonna leave, but now she, this is kind of creepy. Why are you, why are you staring at me? Maybe she gotta say something. I'm not sure, but isn't that kind of weird that she doesn't like people trick-or-treating, but then her house has pumpkins? I'm gonna sit. She said, so, so what? You said you were leaving. And then she said, I was thinking, hmm, what is she, what is she thinking? I'm gonna knock on her house, especially, I'm gonna knock on her house for Halloween. I think I should do that. I think I should do that since she hates people knocking. I think I might knock on her house for Halloween. Since you seem to enjoy my soup, maybe I could show you how to make it. I guess that couldn't hurt, right? Knowing how to make the soup. Um, sure, let's go. Let let's let's go. She said great. 
Should I go with her, y'all? Comment right now if I should go with her or do you think something's gonna happen? I never listen to my instinct. I believe something is probably gonna happen. But I'm gonna go in, in anyway because let, let's see. I'm actually pretty curious. So she does have pumpkins. Look at all those pumpkins right there. That's pretty lit. So I'm guessing that's where she grows her pumpkins. She has the basic little house with like a garage right here. So it's pretty, it's a decent house. It's nothing special, but you know, maybe she just got started or something. So I make this soup fresh. I even grow the pumpkins myself. Whoa, so that's what those pumpkins are for. I knew it, yo. I called it. I told you she had pumpkins out there. I knew it was for growing and making soup so that's pretty cool she actually grows her own pumpkins i am gonna take a shower i'm not even gonna ask her hopefully she doesn't get mad or anything um we should start with a fresh pumpkin can you do me a favor and pick one all right i'll pick her a pumpkin sounds sounds lit so let me um i'm gonna say okay sure be right back all right, so she wants me to pick a pumpkin, so I said, sure, be right back. She said, great. All right, so can I just get, pick this pumpkin? No, that's not a pumpkin. What about this one? Nope. I'm going to have to get one of these right here. These look actually pretty lit. I'm not going to lie. So how do I um, how do I pick? Maybe she's like a role player person. Like, do I just put picks in the chat? I'm not even sure. So let me type in picks in the chat. Um picks all right let me pick one more oh! all are you serious what what the heck is this place wait up no i gotta get out of here i got to get out of here oh i almost got out i almost got out Oh my god, guys, I'm almost getting out. I can actually escape out of here. This, I fell for this trap. Where do you think you're going? No, let me out. What is she doing, y'all? She actually caught me. I literally fell for that trap once. I don't know if you guys seen that other video where, like, the guy had a fake lemonade stand and then got me with all those clowns. This is, like, part two of that, and this one's creepy as well. You know, I'm going to just close it on her. <laughs> she doesn't know I still have guests. She doesn't know I still have guests, y'all. She said, no, I will not. You will stay here. Um, no, I will not stay here. I'm going to escape right now. Um, I'm going to say, why? Why is, oh, whoa, she just took away my guest. She took away my guest, y'all. Now I can't close it no more. Um. Uh. Wait, but now how am I supposed to? I think she wants me to sit down right here. Maybe I'll just stand on the chair. I am keeping you and others here so you guys will not knock on my door. Dang, this girl really hates when people knock on her door. She really hates, like privacy i'm actually kind of creeped out what the heck is happening i'm gonna say um why do you care so much like why do you care if so much people are knocking on your doors i don't understand why she cares that people are knocking on her doors but then she decorates her house with like pumpkins maybe those pumpkins like symbolize something or maybe those pumpkins are just to lure in the kids and then they fall into the trap as well maybe that's what she's doing what the heck so her goal is to capture every kid and make them not want to knock on her door no more that's her basically her goal y'all she's trying to scare me into not knocking on her door or maybe just trapping me here forever so that's kind of crazy um i wonder why she doesn't like people knocking on her door so much though it's kind of weird it's annoying dot dot i have never had anyone to go trick-or-treating with oh so she never had no one to go trick-or-treating with maybe this is like you know how villains are made, y'all? Villains are made by sadness and anger. Like, they're sad that they weren't normal, so then they become... They want power, and they do anything for power. So, I, I'm guessing that's what she does. And she said, and I love Halloween. Wait, so she's locking everyone in here because she has no friends, guys, to go trick-or-treating with her. She says it's annoying. 
it's not that she doesn't like Halloween, it's that she never had anyone to go with, so now she's mad at everyone, and she's trying to make no one else go trick-or-treating because she can't go trick-or-treating. That's actually really sad, and I feel bad for her. I'm gonna say, wow. I said, wow. That sucks. But just because you don't have in, um, people to go trick-or-treating with doesn't mean you have to ruin others' Halloween, which is true. Like, she doesn't have to ruin others' Halloween because she doesn't have no one to go trick-or-treating with let's see what she has to say about that it's not really fun unless you have friends to go with it's not fair you know what i actually feel really bad so maybe i could be her friend and i could go with their trick-or-treating so that's what i'm gonna say oh well i could be your friend we could go trick-or-treating together so like um what do you think of that wait really yeah of course everyone deserves friends all right let's see what she says this is actually getting sad and kind of emotional and intense y'all she said i've always wanted to go trick-or-treating i said well now is your chance you can go with me and all my friends so i'm gonna say your friends so my friends are her friends so i just said your friend she has a creepy pumpkin in the back that's actually kind of scary i'm not gonna lie well if you are telling me the truth then i guess i will have to let you go i promise you could trust me so hopefully she believes me y'all is she gonna let me out is angie gonna actually let me out okay then you shall be free oh my god i think she's actually letting me out unless she's joking i still can't i can't get out i'm st i'm stuck in here whoa all right she let me out y'all i said thank you so much please don't capture anyone ever again okay i promise i am so excited okay so she's excited i'm gonna say me too friend Let's see what she says. Yay, friend. Oh, so she finally got a friend. Oh my God, you know what? Anyways, guys, this was crazy. This is actually a really good ending for a crazy, the crazy world of Bloxburg. This is actually a beautiful way to end it and a beautiful way to come back into this series. So if you guys did enjoy this and learned a lesson, what is the lesson? of this video y'all comment down below right now if you guys enjoyed and learned any lesson in this video make sure to give it a thumbs up comment down below what you guys thought um subscribe if you guys are new click the notification bell so, so you guys will never be late because as you guys know i haven't uploaded in two weeks so the people with the notification bell will know i uploaded our two weeks two months so people with the notification bell will notice oh my god ayazi uploaded again and they'll click it so yeah and as always, I'll see you guys next time in the crazy world of Bloxburg.